Hi everyone, this is Fitch the Hedgehog and welcome to this video. I'm back with uh, Pennywise who joined me to Comic Con. It was a very exciting day, I can tell you. And I was re really looking forward to it. And yeah, well, it ended up being a very, very exciting day. To be honest, I had no idea what to expect except from making a nice video and spend the day with my friends. I wasn't quite sure about the items that I was going to find uh, to complete or replace some items from my collections. Um, so yeah, I'll just show you in this haul whatever I, I found and uh, and I hope you're going to like this. Now, I really hoped I could actually um, spend this event with Fira, but that luck wasn't very... Uh, wasn't actually given to me. Anyway, I still had a bunch of luck actually uh, yesterday and I could find some adorable items which I would like to show you now. So the very first item that I actually came across was already a very surprising one. Um, I came across this Sonic. Uh, it was like, yeah, there were like a bunch of them um, in, in one, but just one seller had him. And uh, it was the only plush that you could actually find there of him, this little classic one. I followed this guy on a website, so I'm glad I don't have to order him anymore. And he was also a very good price too. So I didn't pay quite much for him uh, either. And I knew exactly, I was actually very excited. You might actually heard that in the video I made. I was quite exciting, uh, quite excited finding him. So yeah, I just, he was just a find I came across just... One of on 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 my uh, very oh, actually upon my arrival, I just came across him and uh, he was already my very first find. I took him with me actually right away, um, so I was very exciting uh, excited sorry finding this adorable classic Sonic. He's super soft. I think he is. Well, this is what it's what his tag says. I'm going to let a tag on him. Um, that's a nice picture. This is not a bootleg, actually. It's just a, a, a real one. And uh, well, it says Sega Price International. I have no idea. It reminds me of the Sega Price Europe logo. So I have no actually no idea where this guy was sold. Maybe just world worldwide. I can't imagine that for a regular Sonic collector, this plush is just yeah annoying or um, or uh, yeah like an everyday find. But for me, it was just yeah. An incredibly an incredible find sorry because I've been looking for Sonic all over the place last year and there was just no way I could find him so just stumbling upon him on my arrival is the least thing I actually expected so yeah that was uh, well, yeah I can tell you I was really damn lucky I found some awesome finds I really wanted to get so Sonic was my very first one uh, the second find that I actually came across was this adorable Flareon plush. I really wanted to collect a larger Flareon and get rid of my small one because she was actually the very first one I could collect on MCM Comic Con and uh, and I hoped actually one day in the bootlegs I would find just a larger one just I have my Jolteon here which I still have um, and also Glaceon. I, could, I was really glad I could collect these two. And I hoped actually I could one day just come across a larger Flareon. And yeah, apparently uh, I could that day. So I took her with me. What I don't really like about her is her flashy orange color. But you'd have to know that on bootleg plush, um, the color is sometimes not very decent. So they really feel super soft. But they look, the, the way they look is not, not always very accurate. And they, their colors, their colors are just very deformed. Just also look at my Vulpix. Last year I could come across this Vulpix. Uh, also his colors are a bit messed up. But still I was super glad I came across this guy. Just like the year before I came across Jolteon and Glaceon, which I still have, like I said. I also had the chance to collect Levion, but I decided to leave her. Because, yeah... I actually barely touched my small one and I thought maybe getting a larger one, which I actually really wanted, wasn't actually a good idea. So I decided to leave her there. Uh, also because I found a bunch of other items. But just pay attention to its uh, its tag. It's like an, Im an imitation or an impression of the, the Tomy tags. It's nice that the Pokemon's name is on it. But this, this is just a full bo uh, bootleg. Um... 
I don't really know if I have a plush wearing this tag. Um, it says maybe Tommy Wet Plaid and stuff like this, but this is definitely not a real plush, even though it actually wears like one of those tags that you can actually see on the real Tommy plush. Um, also the back. It's very well done. I'm glad actually it has a tag. My Eevee didn't really have a tag. And when you check the Tush tag, it just actually says warning and made in China. So this is definitely not a real plush. Also the tag is actually just attached to uh, its Tush tag. Of course, Comic Con is the largest bootleg <laughs> uh, sale I can imagine actually. So don't expect the plush uh, salt there to be real. <laughs> I think my parents are playing. <laughs> Apparently my, my dad is pranking my mom again. Um, so yeah, well maybe I can show you like in Rock's tag. Her tag is a bit different. This is a real one. But like you see, sometimes Tommy have like the same name tags. And I don't know if I actually have a Pokemon wearing a decent... Uh, Tommy tag like I have here but just the tag might be real might be signed by Tommy but actually this is not a real this is actually not official official merchandise still I really love this Flareon I'm really glad to get her I've been waiting for her and that I'm glad she's here she's sweet even though her colors are a bit messed up I really like her so I was pretty sure about this, this find as well the third find was also a nice surprise because I'm starting to Kermit la uh, lately again after so many years and I came across this Ziploc packaged uh, second-hand Kermit plush and also this guy when I saw him hanging I like I'm gonna get Kermit so <laughs> actually all of them like were like for 15 euros like for Kermit here uh, he has a tag on his on his belly because um, at MCA Comic Con I found the Kermit and actually forgot to pick him up maybe this is just that particular Kermit but it's not the most pretty plush uh, of him but it's a sweet one he might be quite vintage come out Kermit I know the way the packaging is just cruel <laughs> Yeah, Flam Flareon has adorable ears. Look at this. Her ears aren't sustained. Uh, like for um, Jolteon or Glaceon. As you can see, they have like a part in their ears that make their ears point in a very weird direction. But it's not actually the case for, for um, Flareon. She resembles Eevee a lot in her design. There you go. So this is the Kermit I found. I was actually very excited I found him. And yeah, there was like one Kermit in, on the entire setting and I had to have him. Yeah, like that's just totally me. So there you go. I might consider dressing this guy. His legs are very... Uh, well, he can actually sit up. He's really sweet. He can sit up. On some plush of Kermit, his muzzle is not very well finished. That deforms the look in his eyes sometimes. It makes him look a bit round on the front. But still, I can appreciate each and every Kermit that I find. So, uh, or that Katie finds. <laughs> yeah, because she found a few of them. I have her latest Kermit right there, see? Also pretty vintage, apparently. Uh, he's such a lovable character. I, I just can appreciate everything of him. So, I've been trying to clean his eyes, which are hard and soft at the same time. But his eyes are pretty worn out. Also his collar. So I'm gonna see if I can actually dress this guy. This is actually what his tush tag says. Toy Factory. Apparently they are listening to the Gladiator soundtracks. My parents downstairs. And it's it still said he's 15 bucks. <laughs> Come on, Kermit.
there you go. So these were like three awesome finds. Did not expect it at all, actually. Um, I was going to have a look for nice Pokemon. And actually about nice Pokemon, now I'm going to show you the, the stuff I wasn't so sure about in the very first place. I would like to show you your second Pokemon, which is actually real from the Pokemon Center. And which I was going to collect one day. I didn't know the opportunity could be so suddenly, so sudden. But yeah, I came across, I have to take her here. I came across this Alola Ninetales. You might have seen her on the video I made. Um, she is just someone, apparently, I suppose she comes from Amazon. I guess her previous owner got her there. And because she had to get rid of some stuff, she just sold her on Comic Con, so... I paid like 40 euros for her, so definitely it's actually what is asked on Amazon for her to pay. Um, I was going to get her, I just love Ninetales, I really wanted to collect this plush. She also had the classic Ninetales, which I already have right there. I have a Tomy Ninetales, I also have a Lola Vulpix, they were nice ones. Of course, I wanted to pick up one of those as well, but I had to make a selection because on Comic-Con you will find more than you actually can afford, so... She has nine gorgeous tails in light blue and white. Um, it's, yeah, it's like a, to a dome tail. It's like, yeah, in a bit of a dome. <laughs> Very uh, impressive. Nice plush, nice back legs. Um... And I was quite excited finding her. At first I didn't know I was going to spend the price on her. But I felt like I should do it. For some reason I was quite sure I had to do it. And um, so that is after all why I came back for her. I see her because she looks like a female. Um, this is her tag. I'm glad actually the tag is still on her, because I won't pay like 40 euros for having a nine tails without a tag. Um, and this is this is actually not a bootleg, it should not be a bootleg. It says it's made in the Philippines and sold in Japan only. So it shouldn't actually be a, be a bootleg. To be honest, I don't really mind my Flareon's bootleg and my others as well. But it's just that paying 40 euros for a bootleg is quite much. So this should actually really be a, a real one. Um, a bit of an unexpected find that was finally actually going to, uh, to purchase. Just that her back legs have a hard time sustaining her uh, her her posterior and her leg and her tails. Also, my Lincoln Rock here is real because I got her from Amazon, probably from the same website as that lady. Um, I have been checking nine tails as well. That is why I know I knew about the price and I was quite sure about her origins. Um. And actually, I hope to find some, some It merchandise as well, but about this, I wasn't so lucky. I was just so lucky that Penny was with me, with me. And there was a nice cosplay as well, which I could record for a short time. And he also saw my clowny, so it was funny. He was pointing towards my clowny, who was in his chest. Uh, yeah, well, I was carrying him in a, in a carrier on my chest, so... Like a baby, actually. It was really funny. Um... So yeah, I could. I, I, I just came across some nice posters. I can only show you the rolls. This is a Pennywise with a balloon. And this is just a picture rather in the dark. Um, it says it here. It's hard to see. But I really wanted those posters for in my room. Even though I don't, I'm not going to change my posters so right away. Uh, Kylo has his place up there. And I think I'm just going to keep him there for now. Because the poster is like in horizontal shape, which actually covers the many damages of the wall. So I'll put one on my front door. Um, 
But for now, I just like these posters and I prefer to conserve them like this. That was also very exciting because after a long search, uh, I came across a Pennywise pop figure, which I did not have yet. It was hard to find someone having those. Uh, but I came across this guy. This is the Pennywise with teeth. For some reason, his teeth on the picture are quite yellow. And here they are just so white. And he has like hands. And he actually resembles the one that I have from the 90s with his deadlights in his eyes, uh, which is quite decent as well. I really like that. And I was so glad I could collect a, a fifth figure different, actually, um, from the others that I have. And uh, I wanted to find some exclusive ones, but it just there were a lot of pop figures, but barely the one that I was looking for, so... Too bad. Um, but I'm so glad I actually collected this one here. Actually, very first case, it was hard to ask anything as well because of the... Um, because of the many, many people. It was, it was incredibly crowded out there. So recording and asking for what you were looking wasn't very easy. Especially with a visual disability, you barely see where you're actually walking. That is why I always have my cane with me. So that's what I could collect from it. So as you can see, I could collect a bunch of merchandise from my favorite stuff like Sonic, Kermit. I found the Flareon I was looking for. Even a nine tails, and also from it. So that's just amazing. I was, I was really lucky. Now, of course, wouldn't it, wouldn't it just be so awesome to find some more hedgehogs as well? Except from uh, Sonic, I could stumble upon upon some adorable hedgehogs as well. So that was just amazing. They were like huge, fluffy pygmy hedgehog plush, and that was just yeah, really nice. I decided to have a few. Uh, I have them here next to me. The very first one I came across was this adorable hedgehog backpack. So it's an adorable pygmy hedgehog sitting with his little legs up. Um, and it's a nice backpack actually also. It fits me as well. Uh, I think I paid something for these guys. Uh, I have another pygmy hedgehog as well. A standing one. So this is actually what you can put in there. Um, it's still pretty decent, pretty honest. Where you can. Uh... There you go. So I can keep some leashes, my sunglasses, money, uh, and my my wallet. I can put in it everything in there, and it fits my back. So uh, it fits my back. And isn't it just the cutest? Hedgehog plushie. Now it's amazing because the design is quite simple looking while you actually recognize the animal right away. Um, and that's just so gorgeous about these Japanese looking plush. Um, and mostly I don't take those fluff balls with me because I'm not really fan of them. I'm not really fond of, of these ones. I don't really like them so much. When I saw the hedgehogs, I was like, oh my god, that is just totally a hedgehog. And and I never saw any pygmy hedgehogs on my way on Comic-Con and stuff like this. So it was just amazing coming, uh, com uh, coming across them. So this is my little hedgehog backpack, which is just so cute. But hold on. So you see this guy here. I'm just going to put him on my bed. Um, this is a gigantic standing pygmy hedgehog plushie. And he looks actually pretty decent compared with his, uh, yeah, actually with his, with his um, round size and he's actually a gigantic pillow. Even his paws look pretty decent, actually. Unfortunately, the one in the gray color was just sold when I came. So I couldn't collect a standing one in this color. I would have definitely wanted that guy. But this guy has like a golden golden color on his quills um, which is also a nice color for them he had them in all different colors and in larger and small size unfortunately didn't really have middle sized because i wanted to collect that one in a middle size but he didn't have one so yeah but i was quite excited i could collect um, hedgehogs as well so 
I wasn't so sure about these finds because usually I don't really like them. But it's just, yeah, one more hedgehog for my collection and a very, yeah, special one. And they have adorable tags, these hedgehogs. Um, can't read the text, though. Uh, I don't really know what it says. So you can actually recognize the pygmy hedgehog in it right away. I'm just going to let a tag on them. Here you have some of them. And apparently they have names. So you can actually collect them in different colors. This one is a standing one. And really, even though it actually has a simple design, it just looks totally like a pygmy hedgehog, doesn't it? It's impressive how such a simple looking uh, plush. I have been trying to achieve uh, maximum um, uh, realistic um, features on my drawing, on my, in my drawings. Um, when I was actually drawing these animals. But I didn't really achieve what I was really wanting to to uh, to achieve. And when actually I see this plush, I uh, I realize that maybe I was just looking so far. It's not because you see details that it makes a nice general view. But when you start, you actually come from the general view. Well, after all, you end up sometimes in nice details. So. This plush actually taught me a very valuable lesson. Maybe I shouldn't look too much for detail drawing those hedgehogs. Maybe I just have to draw this plush that will look exactly like one of those. So it's just, yeah, it's just amazing. Also the little paws, it's just, just that it gets really flat when you push, you push on its quills. That is what I don't really like. Um, it is not very well stuffed. So there you go, this is the standing hedgehog. I'm gonna show you the... This is actually the sitting up one. I could record a plush like this as well, but I decided to have the backpack since I can actually use this one. Um, here it is. There you go. It's a bunch of people buy those gigantic fluffy plushies. Um, my friend and I saw a bunch of people getting those. It's not exactly the style of plush I love. But this one was just so hedgehog that I uh, <laughs> I decided after, after, well, after a long thinking and just uh, getting this plush. Now this is about all what I found on Comic-Con. So fluffy. <laughs> now, where's Penny? Oh, there he is. So after all, I could actually come across a bunch of items that I really love. Um, I was quite excited about this. I was quite excited about spending the day with my friend. Um, and just, yeah, well, that's about all. It, it was just an awesome, an awesome day. For me, Comic-Con is actually one of the prettiest days of the year. <laughs> well, yeah, actually, because you never know what, you, what you're going to find. You never know um, how things will turn out. 
um, it's just that when they have an item you like, you better get it because you're not quite sure to find it the, the year after. Now after all this, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you later guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.